Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? Never noticed all the beggars in the neighborhood. This a new thing? No, no. They've been here way too long, if you ask me. More and more keep piling in. They're ruining my business. Not a clue where they're coming from. All I know is they keep pouring in, broken, disabled, putting it out there for pity. Clients coming around don't like that. Me and my colleagues would pay a hefty sum to anyone who could get them out of here and move them to the slums or somewhere. You could be that someone? Yeah? I can try. Hello, Fiorello. Ah, our savior is here. It's, uh, wonderful to see you again. You seem a bit preoccupied. Things not going well? No, no, it has. Everything has gone very well because of your efforts. Let's just say that my leave of absence didn't help my business. Don't think I'm not grateful, friend. I appreciate the thought. What can I do for you? Who's the girl? She doesn't exactly look like a merchant. It is a good question. I found her tied up in the warehouse that we were dumped in. The poor thing cannot even remember her own name. Figure she must have family or friends around here though, so... I keep her with me, hoping someone might recognize her. Just banking on luck though. Maybe as an officer, you might be able to check and see if someone has reported her missing. I'm sure her family would be grateful, as I would. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Officer Manson. You are a man of endless generosity. Serum, sir. Got a drop for a poor war cripple? No, I don't. You gotta move it along, pal. Where you want me to go? One block over, any better for you? Listen, I'm sorry. I am. I get it. Life's kicked you in the balls, and you're just trying to survive. And if you were the only one begging these streets, it'd be different. But you're not. It's you and countless others making it really hard for the merchants to conduct their business. Merchants, who if I don't get you out, are more than willing to ask much less kindly. So I'm just asking you to move it somewhere else. Life might have kicked me in the balls, but it was the smuggler who took my arm. Promise to kill me if I leave these streets. The smuggler. I had nothing here. All abundance held for me was pain and trouble. Know what that's like? To only know misery? To be so desperate a bit of hope shines like the only ray of light you've ever seen. That's what the smuggler was when I met him. Promise of better. A chance to start again in Aurora, where I could rebuild my life. Didn't work out that way? No, sir. Had me driven to a warehouse where I signed some papers I didn't even read. That's what hope gets you, I guess. Once he had him, he threatened to turn them over to the ASC if I didn't work for him. Pickpocket at the market and give him everything I stole. Which you did. Steal or die, which would you choose, sir? Even then, after time, I couldn't keep quiet. Too much pride, I guess. So I spoke up, and from my trouble, lost my arm and was sent to the streets to beg for him. I leave the street, I die. I feel to bring him enough serum, I die. I refuse his orders, I go to the ASC, I die. I ask you, is this living? It's surviving, at least.
where they're hoping to get to. I mean, sure, these underworks are vast, but still. You think they want to join enemy lines? They're trying to get away from the war, the fights, and after what they saw, we can't really hold that against them. Was I assigned to this unit? I know what the captain said, but I hope you're not planning to kill him. I know Boris, he's a great guy. He must just be at the end of his tether. He's fought a lot for abundance. It can't go down this way. <laughs> So you got me, Mancer. Good for you. How much blood did you spill along the way? You're nothing more than a lackey for abundance. At some point, we've all felt the way you do about abundance. But they just take and take until we're all used up. We are tired and want out. But they send you, another loyal dog, to drag us back. I fought my whole life for them. Today, for once, I'm gonna fight for myself. All right then, let's do this. Stop! Let me go. I am not your enemy. All I want is to live in peace. Please! I'm begging you!
Then it looks like your time here's up, Boris. Orders are orders. No deserters left alive. That's fine. I'd rather die free than continue being a slave. <laughs> the orders I won't do it these men were our brothers we fought alongside them and I won't forget that they learned their lesson let them go Hey, hey, mister. You got some serum, mister? No, I don't. And you folks gotta clear out. Let's go. We gotta... You gonna protect us if we do? No, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you think? We leave, the smuggler will kill us. I've heard the stories. Promised to help you escape, then made you steal, then cut off your arm and thanks. That's right. But more than just mine, sir. Many more. Know where to find this guy? Yes, sir. At the station, sir. But you ain't gonna get near him dressed like that, sir. He'll see you coming blocks away. Look a little more poor, dirtier, and you might have yourself a chance. I hear you. Thanks. to my eyes in debt. So you find him and tell him if he wants to see his brother again. He forgets what I owe him. You got it? You really think threatening an innocent man's the way to go? Or maybe you think it's gonna make things worse for you? Calm down, maybe I can help you. Yeah, right. You want to sit in jail to keep me safe from the guy I owe serum to? Why the hell did I do that, huh? Just trading one help for another. What about my family? They're just gonna sit in prison too? What are you fucking crazy? Sorry, but I don't negotiate with anyone threatening innocent people.
Hey there, Fiorello. Ah, the one, the only, Sakurai Mancer. A pleasure as always. What brings you here this fine day? Listen, maybe I can help. What's going on? You are too kind. I am so deeply indebted to you. Anyway, yes, I am a little worried. More than a little, to be truthful. Two of my regular clients, after the kidnapping, must have assumed the worst and just left. I haven't heard from them. No one but you, I admit, cared enough to come to look for me. That said, their merchandise is here, but... I have no way of telling them I am back without the risk of exposing myself. I don't mean to treat you like my errand boy. I only asked because you offered your help. Anyway, if you could let them know, I could compensate you as well. One of them, I'm sure you know. The barracks quartermaster. The other one is a slums merchant. You know where the merchant's at? Of course, of course. If you have a map, I could show you. Bless you, man, sir. A thousand times over, bless you for all you've done for me. What kind of merch are we talking about? Boxes of equipment for your quartermaster. From Alliance. From Alliance? Our rival corporation? Just one of the many, like Aurora. But Alliance, being at the cutting edge of military research, clearly has goods your quartermaster is interested in. And what's the merchant buying? Mostly exotic ammunition. The kind used for hunting. Different prey require different rounds, from my understanding. The more exotic the prey. I hear you. Thanks. Where'd you find the girl? We were actually thrown together. When they brought us to that wretched hellhole warehouse, there she was. Tied up. Unconscious. Tortured. Through and through. Whatever she did to get that sort of treatment, couldn't have been as bad as all that. So when you arrived to free us, I, in turn, freed her. I always tried to pay a good deed forward. She would have died had I left her behind. Since then, I've asked around the exchange, but nobody seems to know her any more than she knows herself. Perhaps she comes from the slums, somehow betrayed the Vori, stole from them, who knows? But whatever it was, the punishment was brutal. But maybe, as you go around the city, maybe you'll find a way to bring her name back to her. Can I ask what corporation you're from? You can ask, but you may be disappointed by the answer. None. My parents were traveling merchants like me. The road is my home. Always has been. Not to take anything away from your corporation. It's technical miracles, beautiful city and all the rest. But I don't think I could ever settle down. There is freedom in having no ties. So how does it all work? You merchants trade with each other too, or...? Our lives would be impossible otherwise. The travel required to collect the vast array of goods we purvey would be impractical, to say the least. For instance, a fellow merchant is traveling to your hydroponic farms as we speak, and is gathering goods that he will swap with me to bring back to Alliance's territory. And there, there are other merchants who trade goods with me from territories even further away. And on and on and on. We would be at a loss without each other. So, we stick together. A big family, in a way. I can't imagine everything you've seen. How far have you gone? We can't really leave the Shadow Paths, but... Those ways connect nearly all the big cities on the planet. That said, my travels usually take me to Junction Complex, Alliance's main city. A place that would... surprise you, I should think. Filled with mechanization that the Corporation has rather strangely invested so heavily in. I've also been to Shadow Lane. Its center is far more baroque, and its slums boggle the mind with how far they stretch. But Abundance's explorers, I know, have gone much further than I. To the ends of the planet, I hear. Maybe one day you might join them on an expedition. Experience the world yourself, rather than just hearing of it secondhand. Rumor is you merchants have a secret city hidden somewhere. Ah, yes. The cave we open with the utterance of a magic word to protect our troves of treasures. <laughs> a tale, Mr. Mansur, nothing more. We are merchants, 
What goods we have, we sell. To buy more goods which we sell, and so forth and so on. There is no secret in our ways. Or treasures hidden in faraway caves. Looky you! Glad to see you. Can't tell you how much your help was. It is appreciated. Well, things might have worked themselves out in time, but who has time these days? And you sure saved me the asshole. You're a Technomancer? I am. Zachariah Mancer. I'm lucky. In name and in life. You Mancers all stick together. Know each other real well, don't you? Know each other, maybe. But we're scattered between here and the front. Right, right! The front. Of course the front. So, uh, I take it you know where I can find, uh... I believe his name is... Master Connor? He's still in town, away from the front. Training recruits. Lucky again. Just what I wanted to hear. Think you might be up to do me a favor? Either way, I'm here. Tell me what you need. Simple. To meet Master Connor and relay some information. With your help, of course. Without your help, well... Being just a simple merchant, unwelcome outside the Exchange, I suppose it'd be a bit harder. If not, you know, impossible. You know as well as I do, a common merchant can't just stroll up to the likes of a master. So, you get me in front of him, and I'll owe you one. How about that? I'll see what I can do. And I'll be much obliged. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Hey, Ryan. Merchant just delivered this for you. Said he's got more merch you may be interested in, too. Oh, good. Bastard finally showed up. Damn foreigners. Good thing they're better at making deals than they are at mining their clocks or calendars. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Captain, report? Yes, Lieutenant. Rest assured, potential scandal's been abolished. Everything's in order. We managed to neutralize most. Some, unfortunately, escaped. Then you didn't act quickly enough. It should have been your priority, Lieutenant. Because of your failures, all we can do now is hope that the word doesn't spread. And what was the fate of the sergeant in charge of the group? Sergeant Boris? He's been arrested. I take it some moral relativism stopped you from killing him? But now, because of it, we're going to have to face an internal investigation. The ASC will interrogate Boris, and even if a scandal's been avoided, our cracks will now be apparent to the powers that be. In spite of the less than perfect results, go find the Quartermaster. He has your pay for this mission. Good. Moving on. We have new missions. Bit of a welcome change from the big chases. We've got state officials arriving in Ophir today, and an ASC warning that an influx of Aurora spies in the city are planning trouble. For security, the officials will be picked up in rovers outside the city and brought to the hangars, rather than coming through the station. We've got brigades tracking the spies, but you're gonna have to usher them through the slums and make sure they get to our quarters safely. No excuses. No failures. We clear? Questions, Lieutenant? Hi. Lieutenant! How can I help you? Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. 
Heard on the street is that the locusts are swarming the underworks. Patrol gonna get it under control before the shit hits the fan? <laughs> Unlikely. High command's about as interested in the slums as they are the underworks. Why try to spit shine a turd? And what's it to you anyway? As it goes, little nuisances have a way of becoming big problems over time. Proliferation. And I'd be willing to pay to nip it in the bud now, before they start to hit our warehouses and personnel, too. Well, you'd have more luck killing them in their nests than hunting them one by one. Or you could booby-trap the tunnels and catch the rats while they roam. Your call. <laughs>